2001. Grand Theft Auto 3 and Halo were released. Lord of the Rings would hit theaters. And most importantly, Missy Elliott would release Get Your Freak On. However, for the NFL, 2001 would mark a historic year. Players that would define an offensive generation of football would enter the NFL, such as Ladanian Tomlinson, Michael Vick, Drew Brees, Chad Johnson, a.k.a. Chad Ochocinco, Steve Smith, Reggie Wayne. Each one of those guys were drafted in 01. However, over half of the players in the first round would be defensive players, one of those being Steeler great Casey Hampton, a.k.a. the Big Snack. In the second round of the draft, the Steelers would draft what they are known for, a linebacker. His name was Kendrell Bell. Kendrell grew up in Augusta, Georgia, initially attended Middle Georgia Junior College before attending Georgia. A lot of Georgias, I know. During Bell's freshman year at Middle Georgia, he played fullback and amassed 689 rushing yards. His sophomore season, Kendrell would move to linebacker and attain 132 tackles and six sacks while leading the defense to number one in the country at their level. Bell then attended Georgia, where he would finish with 153 tackles, 7 sacks, and 4 interceptions, as well as adding 5 forced fumbles and 2 fumble recoveries. He had quickly caught the attention of NFL scouts with his extreme mixture of explosive speed and strength. By 2001, his rookie season, Bell, a 6'1", 245-pound inside linebacker, would immediately make an impact. He would register 82 combined tackles and 9 sacks, all while reaching the Pro Bowl and winning 2001 AP Rookie of the Year. He was looking to be a Steeler all-time great. Then by 2002, the injuries would start. Week 1 against the Patriots, Bell would get injured and not return for 4 more weeks. While he would finish out the season with 50 tackles and 4 sacks, he would get injured again in the 4th quarter of the comeback playoff win against Cleveland. That would start the Renegade tradition but that's another video. 2003, Bell would contribute really well despite his 6-10 season. Bell would finish with 99 tackles, 5 sacks, and stays a great interior player on the defense. But 2004 came and hit Bell hard. He started the season with a knee injury that kept him out of play until week 9. He would play up until only week 11 before re-injuring his knee against Cincinnati. By the 2005 offseason, the Steelers would make the decision to unfortunately release Kendrell Bell. Kendrell's years with Kansas City would never come close to his time in Pittsburgh. In his three years in Kansas City, he would total 98 tackles and two and a half sacks. Not even as good as one of his years in Pittsburgh. In a 2018 interview with the Steelers, Bell in regards about his career as a Steeler spoke only great words about the camaraderie of the team itself. Comparing it to almost how college teammates hang out and bond. Overall, Bell's career as a Steeler would never live up to the expectations his rookie year set, set back by injuries from what could have been an amazing career. I compare his short span similar to what I believe Ryan Chase's years could have been. Cut very short. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see another Steeler that's forgotten or lesser known, feel free to let me know.